Good evening, House of David. Good evening. I am happy to be with you. I wanted to be here since Wednesday, I believe, but I had to go to Ibadong. I just come back actually from a trip where in Swansea and Pastor Rupo was there as well. It was amazing. God bless you, Pastor Viola. God bless you, Pastor Isaac. God bless you, Apostle Oropo. God bless you, Pastor Shola. You know I love you. I love you. So whatever he says is not a lie. It's true. He's my friend. And I love him. Thank you. And you know, we don't know ourselves after the flesh. So I love to know people by the spirit because that way, whatever happens, we'll still be able to stand. But if we know by the flesh, we'll have issues because we are not perfect. And so we'll have things that, you know. And um, Pastor Abigail, you're beautiful. In and out, I love you. I love you. And... Pastor Dele, I feel like I know you. I feel like just say, I'm Pastor Dele. That's how I feel because I feel connected. You know, the Bible should give us life. This is what I preach. Okay, I pastor a church, kind of. Yes. <laughs> and I try to just make us see the word of God. Whatever depth of worship you see is not because I am gifted in singing. It's because I enjoy the word of God. And that's how every believer should be. The last words he said, I hope you remember everything he has said. The last time too is the same thing. I, when you see truth, you, you, would not, you don't need to force it. It's truth. That's what it is. The last time, the same thing. This time, everything he has said is the truth. Can we hear? And the same thing with Apostle Roper. The ones I've listened to, everyone I've listened to. Right? It's the truth. And the last thing he said about the resurrection is not an event. It's not just an event. It's a person. It's in my note. I showed it to him. As I was praying, I was like... That's the understanding. It's beyond an event. And believer, we, have st we are staying at the event. We are not meeting the person. So when you see Easter comes, everybody is alive. Easter, Easter, Easter. When Christmas comes, okay, I'm here to worship. So let's stick to worship. <laughs> but I'm here to express God. However, you know, we are quick Easter. Everybody, is, you know, it's Easter. It's an event we remember. But do we remember the Christ? Same thing for Christmas. And I say that on Christmas, I remember both the death, the resurrection. I don't remember just the birth. You remember the finished work because it's the beginning and the end. So you come from there, not just the birth. And once we do baby Jesus, that's all. It's not a baby Jesus. It's Jesus. And it's the resurrection. It's not a, an event. The resurrection, resurrecting is an event. But the resurrection himself is life. All right? They've touched my time again. But anyways, I remember... <laughs> I believe it's in 2021. I saw the fire. And I saw Pastor Shola. See, the fire is not the problem. Just like it was when the storm was raging. Right? And Peter was looking to Jesus. The storm was not the problem anymore. It was Jesus. The storm didn't make any sense anymore. But Jesus glorified and seeing the fire and seeing him, I wasn't so much bothered about the fire when I saw him, how he was standing. Do you understand what I'm saying? I'm not saying fire did not burn, I know. But imagine that what I saw is him putting his hand on his head and sitting on the floor and saying, my life is over. Then I will see the fire. 
But I did not see the fire. I saw a man that is testifying of the resurrection. That's what I saw. So even me, I'm encouraged. And because of what I saw, I'm able to see what God is doing. Because if I don't see, I can't see what God is doing. I told them in church, I said, sometimes we have not even grown enough to know the problems that are coming to that God. You know, we, we attribute everything to the devil. We don't know the one that is for our growth. So we refuse it. And that's what he was saying. There is no way you know the resurrection and you will not make impact. Not know yourself, not know your skill, but the resurrection. And when they said the, the thing for this meeting and they said the resurrection, we are understanding. Abby, Abby. And when you, and you see, because of the things I've been hearing, I am not giant pa because I believe in the resurrection for Nigeria. I have seen it. That's why it's not because I'm not feeling, but I have seen the resurrection of Nigeria. So I can wait. I hope you can see it too. And for the people that will say, church got burnt, church got burnt, no. Building got burnt. Church is here. You are church, I am church. So household of David, I have to commend you because you are the church, not the building. Not the building, you are the church. Pastor Dele said something about prototype. This is a prototype for the believers right now, in case we don't know. Because at times we have come into, we will understand what persecution is. Do, do you understand what I'm saying? And we will know what our response will be when we suffer persecution. At least you will remember my beloved friend and brother, Pastor Shola. And you remember yourselves because household of David, you are, you don't know what has happened to you. I pray you know. But it was in 2021, this conference, 2021, and I say anytime I come here, the Lord must give me a word. Either so if He doesn't give me, I don't want to come because I love Him so much. But I don't want to mix love and that's also the problem when you love people you are still principled they'll be angry they just think that once you love them principles end but it doesn't end and so that's why they will fight me or not because i'm bad but because i keep <laughs> principles so i just don't want to come because i love him because i can come because i love him and not give anything here the lord must do you understand give you something substance to give so 2021 we came here and we said through the fire through the raging storms i will not lose my peace the lord gave you the song 2021 through the valley through the sweeping floods i will hold to my peace you know why? I tell you, nothing broken, nothing missing. He's got it in control. Do you believe it? I am telling you, I said, nothing broken, nothing missing. Jesus has it in control. And our response is Shalom Shalom Jehovah My peace Shalom Shalom Yes Jehovah
2021. You went through the fire. No one got burnt. The fire is not the problem. At least we're not in this conversation. Hey, 350 people died. Nobody. That's why I said, when you go through the valley of the shadow of death, you will fear no evil because he's with you. So he has spoken over you before hand. And this one, he gave me another word for you. He says, hallelujah. We praise you. Hallelujah. We praise you. The resurrection and the life. Hallelujah. We praise you. The resurrection and the life, hallelujah, we praise you. It's simple, Abby. Hallelujah, we So that's what he gave me for you in this meeting. We will come back to it. But as a song that is in my spirit, See, outside of David, in the next 20 minutes, we are going to dance. Dance, eh? just dance. Hmm? Eh? We will rejoice and make the devil mad. Do you know why? That's why you can still praise and worship in the midst of the storm because you know the resurrection. You know him. You know him. You know him. So you can start this kind of dance is spiritual so speak in tongues as you're dancing hallelujah jesus is alive death has lost his victory and the grave has been denied so what do you say jesus lift your voice say he is a you don't say it's a life like that, oh. I'll tell you again. I say, Hallelujah. Hey, Jesus is alive. Is this 
how you are when he's alive. Death has lost his victory. Oh, and the grave has been denied. The grave has been denied. Jesus, say, he's alive. Oh. Do you know what would have happened if the grave was not denied on Wednesday? So in case you don't understand, I'm saying you that you're just he's alive. I don't say my God, he's alive. He's alive. Tell the whole world he's alive. He's alive. He's not dead. We serve a living God. We serve a living God. We serve a living God. So don't do he's alive. You go to the tomb and he's not dead. What will you say? He's alive, oh! He's alive! He's alive! Come and see, come and see, he's alive! So join me this night. The grave was denied on Wednesday. <laughs> the grave was denied on Wednesday. Not one person. And I understand it. I went to Ghana to do a crusade. Somebody fell. You know those trusts. Just before the crusade, fell from up. This is just December. He fell. He couldn't feel his legs anymore. But he didn't die. And before the meeting was over, he could feel everything. What would the story have been? If it had not been the Lord who was on our side, if it had not been the Lord who was on our side, our son of David, the Lord is on your side. The Lord is on your side. The Lord is on your side. The Lord is with you. The Lord is with you. Hallelujah. Jesus is alive. Lost his victory, I tell you, and the grave has been denied. Oh, Jesus, can you shout it? Say, shout it. Say, he's the Alpha and the Omega, the first and last easy. Tell me. The curse of sin is broken. What happens? We are. Whoa, whoa, whoa. The Lamb of God is risen. Is risen. What do you say?
Lift your voice, declare it. What do you have? Is this perfect liberty? You are free to jump. You are free to lift your hands. You are free to rejoice. You are free to clap. He who the Son set free is free indeed. He's the Alpha. The first and last. Tell me. You and I have what? Why do we have perfect liberty? Say, say, say. He's the It doesn't matter what. Tell me, tell me. What is his name? Again. I'm gonna dance. I told you, I told you, I told you. He's here, he's here, one more time, say, I'm gone. Tell me what. In the Holy Ghost, hey! 
shall prosper. Somebody will say, but the building got burnt. Like you heard, it was part of the plan. It was part of the plan. If it does not burn, we won't go bigger. If it does not burn, we won't go bigger. It's all part of the plan. No weapon that is formed against you will prosper. That's what the Bible says. However they do it, it will never work. However they do it, it will never work. I say, however they do it. I say, however they do it. I say, however they cook it. about to happen in the body if you don't see you can't be happy so I understand that's why I'm more happy than you for your victory but anyways your victory is my victory so let me tell you again I say the devil thought he he thought your life was wait do you see how many times and how often do you see fire burn two hours before a crusade and then he still held they that know their God will be strong and they will do what? exploit let me tell you this is an example of exploit uh, is exceeding is more than the plan 
So you step aside and God steps in. So listen to me. I say the devil tardy. He thought your life was. He thought by now you would. He thought you had no. But that's when someone stepped in your situation. Now, your money has now begun. It's a new dawn for you. Enjoy the show. Your money has now begun. It's a new dawn. It's a new day. It's a new dawn. It's a new day. Your morning has now begun. Instead of mourning, your morning has now begun. Remember, today is the third day. Third day, third day. You know what happened on the third day? The devil thought he had me. He thought your life was over. He thought by now you would give He thought you had no But that's when someone Stepped in your seat too Your morning has now begun you shout it, say, You know what the devil did? He burnt the whole church to the ground. He thought you had no more. Kai. But he doesn't know that you are, you have a God. I can tell you this. If he happens to be a lie, then I'll be shocked. If he happens to be a lie, <laughs> then I'll be shocked. Pastor Shola loves God. And when he stood in front of the people and he said, All things work together for good. There is a condition to them that love God and are called according to his purpose. I know some of us have quoted that scripture without premise, but he quoted it with premise. I love God. I am called according to his purpose. So this too will work for my good. And that's why Pastor Daly told you, We've come past the time when we are saying things we don't believe. You must believe it. So if you are one of those that like to go, to, all things work together for good for them, and you stop at all things work together for good, you don't go further. And you don't see all, all things work together for good. You don't say that they, it's not true. It's true. It's true. It's true. me. The devil thought he had. He thought your life was. He thought by now you. He thought you are no, but that's when someone stepped in your seat too. Your morning has now begun. Shall he say, he You still got joy in chaos. You've got peace. That makes no sense. Ah, you won't be going under. You are not held up. So what do you say? I put my. Tell me why. Tell me why again. So ask the question. What is your response? Tell me, tell me, say, here was. Oh, it's your deal. See, it's like, it's like writing a 
story and you get to the end you have written the story where he said you have peace the bible says it gives peace not like the word gives right <laughs> peace that doesn't make sense to the world that was what was displayed do you understand me by the help of the holy ghost he didn't do that by himself don't think he doesn't feel he feels but by the help of the holy ghost i stand with the word regardless so when you have written that story and you say i put my faith in jesus he'll never he'll never let me down why you are saying why he is faithful through so you now ask the question so why will when you want to shout in wounds this is how you shout it it's not possible this is the household of david do you understand so i'm teaching you how you respond you don't say he wants no not be like that you have listed why you brought your case before the lord you brought your case before the lord you brought your case before the lord that he has never failed he's faithful how how long through generations so you now ask the question why we list that now when you want to answer the devil what will you say okay that's english when you want to answer the devil how will you say it you don't say he won't he won't i know him he won't i still got joy in chaos listen i've got peace that makes no sense i won't be gone stop you will not be going under why the resurrection even if you go under you will come out the resurrection is the one you are talking about so when you say i will not be going under hod will not be going under it is not possible you know when we say HOD we are talking about you hope you don't think it's a beauty so we are saying you will not be going as my week shifted Jesus loves me so that's why I like the fact he was saying put the Bible that's how I am you see I'll be fighting don't put my picture put the Bible put it let them see it so this thing is called projector he's meant to project huh? lyrics bible we went to ghana and they will project twi and still not project english i don't understand twi but if you write it and you put english i will understand do you understand what i'm saying are you still with me so put the lyrics here so that you can see what you are saying Huh? Help me. Oh. I can't even see it. So let's start again. Say it. I still got joy in chaos. Tell me. I've got peace. Tell me why. I won't. Tell me. Continue. Tell me. He's Tell me why he's faithful. Tell me, tell me, tell me. Are you ready to shout he won't? Shout it, say he won't. He won't say. Yeah. He won't say. He won't say. He won't. Say. He won't say. He won't say. He 
rejoice. Your light has come. The glory of the Lord is rising upon you. Hear me. You are walking in power. You are walking in miracles. You live a lie. Is the truth. You know. I tell you, I say, you are walking in power. You are walking miracles. You live a life of favor. You know who you are. I say again, you are walking in power. You are walking miracles. You live a life. Take a look at you, you are a wonder. It doesn't matter what you see now. What can you see? You see his glory. Can you see his glory? I say, take a look at you. You are a wonder. It doesn't matter what you see now. Tell me what you see. Jesus! Oh. 